already are. Today we're going to do another shoot. This time we're going to do it on the AR-500 plating by uh, AR-500 uh, armor. Okay, based out of here in Phoenix, Arizona. This is a 10 by 12 plating, armored in case, made out of packs and coating. Uh, keep some, uh, you know, fragmentation and all that's military grade. Okay, this right here will pretty much stop high powered rounds, which is the 5.56 five, by 45, 762 by 51. They're all uh, uh, piercing rounds. So we'll find out if this product really does work and what they say it does, and it will stop all the cal caliber rounds. I'm going to say that it's going to stop pistols. The caliber pistol round, so uh, that we already know. We just want to see if uh, the 308 and the 556 will will, uh, will hold up to that. Yeah. So this is the official rating for this is a level three plus, which means that that is going to take a 308 armor piercing round. I believe this will stop our 308, uh, but I am going to try and shoot multiple shots at it and hopefully hit it around the same area. Um, and when it hits around the same area, I'm hoping I can create more of a bulge, more of a pathway for the 308 to go through. Um, that's my hope I can try and do, but since this is rated up to an armor-piercing 308, I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, we talk about safety all the time. We push safety. It's the biggest uh, thing that we uh, like to reiterate all the time in our videos. So our safety rules, there's four of them. The first one is treat all your weapons at the, if they're loaded. Uh, second is never point your weapon until you intend to fire. The third is keep your fingers straightened off the trigger until you intend to fire. And the fourth safety rule is keep your weapon on safe until you intend to fire. So when you're doing all the uh, activities, whether it be shooting or for fun, uh, make sure you uh, emphasize all the safety rules and always have some kind of safety uh, uh, protection, your eye protection, your hearing, and some gloves if you prefer that. But other than that, when you're out here doing the activity shooting or training, uh, always keep it safe. All right, here goes the 380. I'm gonna shoot five rounds of this armor plate. And remember, this is Rated all the way up to a 308 armor piercing. Uh, this shouldn't go through, but let's put some. Let's put five rounds into it. 15 feet. It was hitting, and this is what Ira was talking about. It has a coating for fragmentations, for any type of ricochets. And you can see that it went through that, but the plate underneath is still intact completely. There's not even a dent on this. All that is, is the color of the bullet hitting the plate. Nothing to see. Some people may look at that and say that's some pretty good damage, but that's just the coating on the outside. That, that plate's completely fine. All right, so now we're gonna fire the nine mil uh, at the armor plating. Uh, we'll see uh, if it uh, does any damage to it. I'm going to say no. But it's a good demonstration for you guys. Clear. Again, but... There's not even a single dent on this plate. That's it. <laughs> so now you see that the uh, the caliber uh, handgun uh, it's withstanding that. All right, here's the 40. Let's see what kind of damage it does to the plate. There. So if you look here, the Paxton military coating that they put on here, this is military grade. It's uh, actually doing its job as far as uh, uh, keeping the fragmentation and all that. So the coating is help, uh, helping it out. So now it's time to, to work our way up. And thank, thank you to Armor uh, Underwood Ammo. We're going to work our way up from the hollow point. 
then work our way up to the red ballistic tip, uh, the high velocity, which is 3,400 feet per second, and then we're gonna work our way up to the 308. And, uh, and then we're gonna go into the hollow point slug. Now we're gonna shoot the red ballistic tip from Underwood ammo. These are the 3,400 feet per second. We're gonna see what kind of damage it's gonna do. We backed up to about 40 yards to let the velocity gain some momentum. Uh, to hopefully cause a bulge in it. I don't think it's going to go through, but I'm hoping to cause more damage, um, even a dent compared to these other pistol rounds that didn't do anything. So you can see, here's your high velocity 223 ammunition. It actually created dents in it, unlike your pistol rounds. Uh, you see it took off the coating completely on this, this left side. Um, however, there's not even a bulge because this, this dent's not even, it's not even near deep enough to cause a bulge on it. Oh, actually, I'm a liar. There's two bulges right here. got the 308 I'm gonna try and aim for the same part of the plate uh, since these are not armor piercing rounds I'm gonna just try and hit the same area so I can at least cause a indentation in the same area maybe it'll go through we'll see Well, do I got one more? I think I got two more. Nope. Well, this stand cannot handle a 308 or a 223 round. But, let's go take a look at the plate and see what happens. So, these are your 308s right here. But you can see, so here's the difference. The 308, I believe the 223 that we have from Underwood Ammo, the VMAX ammunition, is going faster than my 308. Only because this that's what the bullet was designed for. But you can see what speed does. Just because you have armor plating, the bigger your bullet doesn't mean it's going to go through, doesn't mean the more damage it's going to cause. It's all about speed behind the bullet. You can see here, indentation from your 223 VMAX, 3400 feet per second, and then you got a little indentation, sometimes not even that much of an indentation from your 308 caliber. So you can see the speed difference happening in between here. Speed is everything. The 5.56, NATO, and 223 was created for the purpose of being armor piercing. And you can see that here. As you can see, we nailed that plating onto this board to hold it down. So if you look at here, at the velocity it was putting out with the impact of the uh, 308, it literally took the nails out of it and so uh, there's no nails left to hold it except this one but there was a I, I put like eight to nine nails around it after a while to hold it up so we could shoot at it so that's the my that's how much of a velocity that round is impacting that plate 
Yep. I mean, it took the whole stand out. So imagine it uh, being a human, human now, being. You can even see the fragmentation that was happening from it hitting the coating that was over the plate. You can see it happening here just because of the impacts, amount of velocity happening behind the bullet. Um, that's actually pretty cool to look at because you can almost see the outline of the armor plate. You can see it on the sides and above. Alright guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked the video. And actually the camera is cracked on the lens from hitting uh, that armor plating. Even though it had that coating on it, the fragmentations will still happen. It's just not as bad and the ricochets won't be as bad. But I hope you guys like the video, subscribe, and share with your friends. Um, please stay tuned to all our other videos. We are slowly growing, and um, we love you guys as a fan base. Keep watching RDR. Anyway, what the, what the? Good. Do you know how to weapon today? Uh, let me show you. Oh my god. Are we filming? Shut up, Iris.